I'm Susan Davis, Prairie Girl Lifestyle. That's the name of my channel. Welcome to my channel and my video. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop in and watch my video and hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel. And when you do subscribe, make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe, the red button, because then you'll know, uh, you know, you'll get a notification when I've uploaded a new video. And if you've been watching me, I really don't have any set schedule like a lot of the other beauty channels. Uh, I just do videos when I have time or feel like it. Mainly more like when I have time. So when I have time, I do a video and then I upload it to my channel. So I don't have any set day of the week that I do upload my videos. So clicking on that bell will, will be a good thing for watching my videos. So today I'm just, uh, I've been working down in my office, I'm a graphic designer, and I thought, you know what, um, so I needed a little break, so I thought, oh, I'll do some videos. I tried to do, I tried to do some videos earlier this week, but it didn't work out, so here I am. Uh, I haven't done anything with my hair, but I just thought I would do a quick eye tutorial in this video. I have my makeup on, my brows are done. I just going to do my eyes and my lips and I was at my Mary Kay meeting this last Saturday with all my uh, beauty consultants my Mary Kay beauty consultants we have a meeting once a month and it's a fun bunch of gals one of the main reasons I joined Mary Kay was to get out and meet people and uh, and I just love I love that aspect of it and all us beauty consultants getting together for coffee Saturday morning is a real hoot. It's really fun. We talk about beauty, makeup, skincare. I mean, it's fun, right up my alley. So anyway, one of the girls uh, had done this bronze brown eye look. I absolutely loved it. And so I'm going to try to replicate that today in this video. And the main thing that's different about this eye application is normally I keep my lid light because I feel like as I'm aging and I'm in my 60s, I, I don't want a lot of dark color down here because it dark recedes and draws things down um, and light reflects and opens up. So I normally wear a light color on my lid. Sometimes I do put a, a darker shade here. And that's what I'm going to do today. You know what? I realize that even if you're in your 60s, you can wear dark colors on your on your lids. Yeah, we can. And it, and it looks good. And it re looked really good on this gal. And so uh, I was inspired. So I thought I'd give it a try. Share it with you. So these are all going to be browns and bronzy colors with some shimmer on the lid. Just a real natural look that you could wear anywhere. So let's Yo's. get started. So again, I've got my makeup on and I've primed my lids like I like to do. Uh, I always use eye primer on my eyes and then I set it with translucent powder. I go over the whole thing with translucent powder to set it down, brighten this area up. And if that's not bright, not bright enough, I'll put some concealer on, a light concealer and um, work that in too. Before I apply any eyeshadow, I have uh, sun damage on my eyes and of course with being in my 60s, you know, my skin is thin and crepey and saggy. So I have to do all that prep work in order for the eyeshadow to lay down nice and then it lasts a lot longer too. So you can use any color for this, any eyeshadows that you have. I'm using the Mary Kay, this Moroccan Dunes quad palette that they came out with. This is new. I love this palette. It's one of my favorites right now. Uh, and these are the colors that I want to use. So I'm going to start with um, I'm going to start with this orange rust color. It's got a little shimmer to it. And let's use more of a more dense smaller brush to apply this. And if I think my brush is dirty, I use a brush cleaner. This is the Mary Kay brush cleaner. And I just give that a few spritzes. And then I always 
rub it into a paper towel to make sure that it's clean. If you don't have a brush cleaner, I highly recommend it because the thing about it is it's dry now. I can use it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so the rust color is going on my lid. So I'll zoom this in just a little bit more so you can see better. All right, we're going to pack that on. So I'm just going to continue packing on that rust color until I feel like I have enough product there. Okay, then I'm going to go with uh, another pencil brush, dense, small, use my cleaner on it. And then we're going to go into this darker color here. It's a cool dark brown with a little shimmer. And I'm going to place that here on the corner of my eye and just pat the color on. And I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner here of my lid and keep putting the color on until I get to the intensity that I want. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then with a clean blending brush, I'll just blend that in ever so lightly. And don't be afraid to blend and blend and blend because you can always add more color. But I don't want a harsh line right there, so just real lightly keep buffing that till there's no line. And then, you know, if you want to add more color, just go ahead and add more color. Okay, now bigger, fluffier eyeshadow brush. I'm going to clean it off. Okay, so now I'm ready for my crease color. And up here, I want a darker shade to try to, you know, cover up my hood here, this puffy eye. So I'm going to use a matte because I don't want shimmer up here. If I put shimmer up here, it's really going to accentuate this crepey skin. So I'm going to use, uh, this is a Mary Kay color called uh, Driftwood, this brown color right here. And yeah, you can see I've hit the pan on it. I like it so much, but we're going to just keep using it. There's still some in there. So I'm going to put that just above my crease and work it, blend it on up. Same thing on this side. Blend, blend, blend. Okay, this is just going to be a really light brown, like I say, look real natural. You can wear it anywhere. Now, I do want to increase, of course, the intensity of the shimmer. So we'll work on that. I'm going to take a flat, dense eyeshadow brush like this and I'm going to go into the white shimmer it's actually you know a cream color and put some more of that on my lid just here right in the middle see what that does and then I'll go back into the rust color apply more of that to my lid No, I'm not covering up that dark over there. I'm just going in the middle and then here in the corner. Just trying to intensify that shimmer. Okay, then for my lower lash line, I'm going to use an angled brush. We're going to clean it, make sure it's clean. Oh my gosh. My dog rolled in something really bad. He's kenneled up right now, and he's probably going to bark if you hear him in the background. But I live on a farm, and I made the mistake of letting him out of the backyard. It's fenced in for that particular reason, so he doesn't get in the poop and the mud and everything out at the barn. Well, he rolled in something, and he stinks so bad. 
he's gonna have to have a bath oh anyway okay now for the bottom lash line I'm going to use this dark matte brown this is called espresso yes it's a Mary Kay color and I'm going to use this angled brush to apply some of that down here underneath my lower lash line okay so I'm going to apply that same dark espresso brown on my top lash line but I am going to wet my brush with this brush cleaner so I can get a little more intensity in the color here pick up the color and I'm gonna have to look in my mirror to do this because I just want a really thin line right there And then I might just make it a little darker, just here on the corner, or thicker right here on the corner. Just to accentuate that dark corner. So there, I don't know if you can see the difference between this eye and that eye. Not a lot, but oh, there is a little. Okay, that's how that looks. So yes, I do have fallout down here. So let's clean this fallout underneath here. Let's clean this area up a little bit. I'm going to use a light ivory concealer. This is lighter than my foundation. And just tap it under my eyes to give this a brighter look. Clean up any mess that we might have use my beauty sponge and just dab that under my eyes and pat that product in and I can run it up here to the side of my eye concealer in until you're happy with the way it looks and that just brightens this whole area up underneath here when you do that that works really good Okay, ready for mascara. I'm just going to put on my everyday mascara. This is a Mary Kay uh, Ultimate Mascara. It's just a nice everyday lengthening mascara. It's not real volumizing. Just a nice mascara. Okay, let's do something with our lips. Well, what I do like to do is exfoliate my lips. And Mary Kay has a satin lip set that is exactly for that reason. It exfoliates and then it moisturizes. And it comes in two tubes like this. This is the exfoliator. It's got little granules in it. Just put some of that on your finger and rub it into your lips. Rub it in good. We're exfoliating. This is one of Mary Kay's best sellers. This satin lips lip set. Get a hold of me if you want some. Works really good. Okay, now uh, we're going to rub that off. Okay, so I'm going to rub that exfoliator off my lips. This is just a wet paper towel. Rub it off good. We're still exfoliating. There. 
Oh, my lips look a lot better. Okay, they're ready for lip product. So today I'm going to put on a bright pink lipstick. This is Mary Kay. This is uh, called Pink Passion. Here it is. Pink Passion. Oh, that is a pretty color. Don't you just love pink for spring? Love it. And then, on top of that, Mary Kay came out with these lip oils. This is our new spring line. They come in three different colors. This is called uh, Brilliant Violet, I believe. Brilliant Violet. And these lip oils are really nice. Let me just squeeze it on your lip. Just gives my lips some shine. Very nice. Like it. Okay, so that's the eye look. Here is what it looks like. So, like I said, you can wear that anywhere. It's a really pretty bronzy uh, brown, bronze colors. Good, looks good with the uh, pink lipstick, I think. Yeah, I think it does. So, let me just zoom back out. Okay, ladies, there you go. A quick eye tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. You can comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have any beauty questions, just put them down below. Let's start a conversation. And thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Go out and make it a great day, ladies. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.